Thanks for calling, she says. We know everyone's experience with sexual assault is different, and we want to keep the conversation going outside these podcast episodes. So each week we ask our listeners a question, and we hope to hear from you. Here's this week's question. If you are a sexual assault survivor and reported the incident to police, do you feel like the police believed your account of events? Why or why not? Please keep your answers to 45 seconds or under. You don't have to leave your name, but if you do leave us a voicemail, please know your voice may be part of something featured on our website on another episode or possibly the radio. Your deadline is end of day Tuesday, June 19th, 2018. For more information, visit WFAE.org slash she says. And thanks. I was 18 years old starting college when I was raped twice in a four month span by two completely different men. When I finally gained the courage to tell the people I loved and respected the most, including my mom, they either did not fully believe my account or assured me that they did, but they were positive that a jury and more importantly, the police never would. Um, So those initial responses are a huge part of the reason why I am still too scared to report, which is a decision that haunts me years later every single day. My domestic violence advocate told me that even if I'm not ready to press charges against my husband for the physical and sexual abuse, that I should file reports with the police so that the documentation is there. So I called the police in an emergency room for to file a report, but I didn't realize that since rape is a felony, I would have to press charges or not file a report at all. They transferred me to 911 and the officer said, you're telling me you were raped by your husband and it was a week ago? Why are you crying? Hi, I was raped 33 years ago in Palm Beach County, Florida. Yes, I do believe that the officer believed me. He behaved as though he believed me. I only met him once when I went up to the police station and walked into their little area. I saw a list on the blackboard of over I don't know how many lists and almost all of them were children and right then I knew that my case was dead and it was thank you